Well, we'll check on the team news. And the champions are Ma, as expected, name an unchanged formation for the third match in a row. 11 of today's starters began last year's decider against Kerry. Paul Hirty has now taken over in goal from the retired Benny Tierney, while young Andy Mallon has been a permanent fixture this year at corner back. Philip Lochran takes his opportunity with both hands in midfield and lines up alongside Paul McGrain. And technically, the fourth newcomer is Tony McEntee, although he came on to play his part in last September's dramatic victory. And the biggest decision for the mentors was the selection of Ronan Clark ahead of Paddy McKeever, although the latter is among the subs. Plenty of good options available to Joe Kernan among his subs. People like Barry O'Hagan, John Toll and so on. Tyrone's management team went for reassurance where they announced their team on Tuesday night, but lingering doubts have persisted over the inclusion of captain Peter Canavan and cornerback Kieran Gourley. The up-to-the-minute situation is that Gourley is listed to sp start in spite of uh, damaged shoulder ligaments. It's a defensive lineup that's been altered through necessity during the year, but the one constant factor has been the presence of wing-backs Conor Gormley and Philip Jordan. And while most of this team have All-Ireland medals at a minor or under-21 level, the two wide attackers, Brian Doerr and Jared Cavillan, are looking to start their collection this afternoon. As usual, expect Enda McGinley to scrap for possession in deep positions, setting up chances for Canavan and Mulligan. Match referee is Brian White. He's the fifth Wexford man to referee a senior football final. He lives in Clonmel. Some switches in the Armagh team with Dermot Marsden and Ronan Clark making a switch, but it's the start of the 114th All-Ireland football final. And straight away, it's Tony McEntee in midfield. And Santa Claus is here a bit early. Mind you, he is supporting the Armagh cause. That's going to get hot between now and five. It gives Peter Canavan a chance to open the scoring. 20 metres out. He's done exactly that. An easy one. Critical decision made there against Andrew McCann for the foul on Brian Doerr, off the ball. Struggling over there is Kevin Hughes. Good attack here by Armagh, inside towards John McEntee. On the left boot, it's over! Great attack, great finish by John McEntee. This is just outside the 45-metre line. Inside towards Brian McGuigan, a flu victim in the last couple of days, taken on O'Rourke, back to Peter Campbell once again. Kind of been leaving it there for Cavillan, and that's a very fine shot indeed, and it's over the bar. So three attacks producing three points, but significantly two of them for Tyrone. It's 13 minutes now since Armagh has scored. And the champions kick out once again has gone astray to Jared Cavillan, laid along the line here. Inside towards Brian McGuigan, ready to take on McGinney, taking him on in some style and cracking it beautifully over. But it all came from that horrible kick out by Paul Hirty. It's something that Joe Kernan, I'm sure, has noticed. He's on his feet straight away, having words with his goalkeeper. 5 1. The referee is, well, I thought he was whistling because McEntee was taking his time about it. Great ball down. Gathered in well here by Dermot Marsden. An enterprising one in. McDonald's around. Gavin Devlin trying to snuff it out. Still McDonald on his left boot and over. Well, that underlines the danger that is Stephen McDonald. Will he end up being footballer of the year? They get it out towards Kevin Hughes, the midfielder. Smooth as you like out to Philip Jordan. Chasing back, there is John McEntee, the number 11, coming into picture. Kavanaugh, referee, uh, has noted the player going down injured. Philip Jordan's down. The referee might have a word with Philip Lochran about that. Notebook's out, he's been checking the numbers. Yes, he could be in trouble this time, Ger, because he definitely took him with a late tackle to the head. It's yellow. So that's two yellow cards against Armagh players, Francie Bellew and now Philip Lochran. Peter Canavan to kick for Tyrone, and the captain kicks, and he puts it over the bar. Four frees taken, four points for the captain. Is this to be the day when Peter the Great will get his hands on the elusive All-Ireland medal? He's made it 6-3. Free kick taken by John McEntee. 
Here's Philip Lochran. Stephen McDonnell instinctively kicking. Quick look at the target. That is a brilliant point. He didn't give himself an extra second to look at the target. He just took it in his stride and in one sweeping movement with great confidence and accuracy, he struck it between the posts. Here's Stephen O'Neill. Nasty forward. Kavanagh missed the goal chance earlier. McGinley's in. He's got Kavanagh and he's kicked it off the goalkeeper's legs and it's over the bar. McGinley was the one coming through, he will take the credit, but there was a goal chance there right at the end of the half, because Canavan was waiting inside, Paul Hirty made a good save, Canavan might have had a goal, he's got five points, all from freeze, he's lost at the pace in spite of the pain he must be suffering from that ankle injury, and Toronto waiting outside the entrance to the dugout, there they go now, in with Armagh, it's been played in a very good spirit, Three yellow cards in all. Not a great deal to choose between them, but it's Tyrone who've made the brighter start to this 114th All-Ireland Football Final, and Tyrone, the challengers, leading the champions by eight points to four. We're ready to go for the start of the second half. We've had a change, as you know. We've also had a streaker. He did not win the Best Dressed Man award, and he's gone, thankfully. Second half is underway. So just four points between them. And again, it hots up, but just... The steam taken out of it very, very quickly by the presence of the match referee. McKeever struggling. They try to get it out with Mallon. They're all a bit untidy. And Philip Jordan, they're indicating to referee Brian White that there was a loose kick there by an opponent. Here's a chance for O'Neill. Kavla! should have been for Jared Kavlan. It was as good a goal chance as he's ever going to get. Let's hope they can settle down and play football. Only three in it, 25 minutes to go. Tyrone of the free kick, Owen Mulligan hasn't scored so far. Peter Canavan is off, remember. And the recurrence of the old ankle injury for Canavan. Mulligan to kick. Will it curl? It's on its way. It's over. Point for a free then from Owen Mulligan. And that means that six of Tyrone's scores have come from threes. They lead by four. His first. It comes out here towards Kieran Hughes. It's very scrappy. Aidan O'Rourke to bring a bit of order perhaps to it. Paddy McKeever, high challenge by Kevin Hughes. That's what a very, will the referee do now? That's a very bad tackle by Kevin Hughes that time. He certainly clotheslined him. It wouldn't be surprised to me if the referee sends him off because there's been an awful lot of messing going on in the opening period of this second half. He is very, very fortunate. Just look at your, the number of players around the middle part of the field. It's absolutely saturated there with players at the moment. This is McDonald. If he can get the ball inside, given decent opportunities, he'll score. But he's very far out from target. He's taken two of them on. McDonald, a real hit and hope one. Will it have the distance? Dropping in towards Marsden. Bats out again beyond McEntee. And uh, McKeever. Paddy McKeever holding it up. Trying to burst his way through. It's not easy. And the referee saw an arm coming in. And there's a Tyrone player down just off the ball. There he is. Well, yeah, there's definitely an incident there. I think a Tyrone player came flying in at an Armagh player and a punch was thrown. I think it's Philip Jordan has gone down, but I think he made a run at somebody. I think it was at Marsden. But it the... is Marsden. He's isolating Marsden and he's going across to his umpires, Martin. There's a red. 21 minutes are gone. And Armagh have lost a player. 21 minutes under the second half. Jermaine Marsden is sent off. Peter Canavan is preparing to come back in. They're using up the five substitutes very, very wisely as O'Neill storms ahead. And he kicks and he puts it over. Stephen O'Neill, his first point. What a substitute. We've always known him to be a terrific player. 
Another two minutes to play. Do her into the clear. Armagh could do it a score, or Tyrone could do it a score here. They might just get it. They have. Stephen O'Neill has kicked a second point. It might now be enough. A goal would still level it for Armagh in a gripping final few minutes. But Tyrone fans now believe their side, which has led from the start, will lead to the finish. 12 9. Well, they look like they've lost their title. And Tyrone look like they're about to win theirs for the first time ever. The referee looks at his watch. It's with Kevin Hughes. It's down there into the space, into Ender McGinley. Tyrone hold what they hold at this stage. They will keep, or at least hope to do so. It's gone wide. Well, this will be a sweet victory for Tyrone. To deny your neighbours immortality makes it twice as sweet. And to become the 19th team ever to win an All-Ireland chair. They've done it! Tyrone are the All-Ireland champions! Mickey Hart has led a team through minor success, under-21 success, and the biggest success of all, on the biggest day in Gaelic football in 2003. Tyrone, the 19th ever team to win the All-Ireland Senior Football Championship. They led from the beginning. They've won by three. They've denied Armagh. And Tyrone fans crying tears of joy. They're swarming onto the field. Scenes of absolute delight. How they will celebrate in Moy, how they'll celebrate in Ben Burb and Cookstown and Oma and all those wonderful places where Sam will now be taken. Places that I'm sure will enjoy wonderful moments in the next few days and weeks. Peter Canavan has led them to the promised land. He was not to be denied. It's Tyrone's trophy. It's Tyrone's day. They're champions. Sean Kelly with the presentation. Peter Canavan with Sam. And Tyrone become the sixth Ulster County to lift the trophy. Tyrone are the 2003 Bank of Ireland football champions. Our congratulations to them. What a scene, what a setting. What a night they'll have here in Dublin. What a day they'll all have tomorrow. And what a welcome Sam and the team will receive and deserve.